fish right off that tree. Good one too. There we go. Okay. Well, I had to cast it way up into that tree and that little opening there, and that's where that fish was. Got a solid 15 and a half, 16 inch bass here. All right, there we go. Well, that didn't take long. That's a good one. All right, buddy. Throwing that spinner bait. We had a long stretch of really warm weather and we've had a big cold front come through recently. Well, big cold front relative to the time of year. The temperatures were in the upper 80s last week and now we're in the mid to high 60s. And the mid to high 60s is still a little above normal for this time of year. So with the water temps being in the mid 60s, these fish are shallow, they're spawning or ready to spawn. It was 32 degrees this morning though. And uh, generally on a colder morning like that, it's better to get out late morning, afternoon and fish. And uh, we got a strong wind blowing today, so that's another good component to have for a good spring bite. So that fish came right out of that tree. Solid one, solid male. There's a fish. Good one too. Hope we didn't get water on the camera. Just by the trailer hook, but I got him. There we go. Another solid one in that 16 inch range. Look at that fat pre-spawn male. All right guys, second fish of the day. They're hitting the spinner bait today. Thank you, dude. want come on got all this thing's gonna catch peck roll peck roll peck roll Please stop biting my line. There's a fish. Damn it, it's just another pickerel. Three fish on this bait already. Good. Take that. Hate them things. Man, they really like this chatterbait though. There's a fish. Finally. Not a bad one either. And the net. Man, they are just not biting today like I thought they were going to be after catching those two very quick. I've hit a lot of spots without any luck. I've switched up baits a few times. I think it's just that time of year where those fish want to be spawned and they're not eaten because the water temps has been over 60 degrees for like two weeks now. There we go. It's our third keeper of the day. 
another like 15 inch or goes still looking for that four or five pound giant I haven't caught him yet there's a fish Not gonna help our calls, but I like catching these guys from time to time because it lets me know that this fishery is still very healthy and uh, the fish are spawning successfully. So it's not gonna help me out in the KBF monthly, but as long as I keep seeing those, you know, the future of this place looks really good. All right, guys, that's the first one of the day, finally. Just got the trailer hook, too. It's on the buzz beat. There we go. There we go. 13 and a quarter, guys. That's a giant. That's a giant. Hit out of nowhere. Get the net, Alex. Yeah, baby. That fish just hit out of nowhere. That is a giant. Holy crap. Let him freak out for a minute. Kind of tried to get them in the net as quick as possible because chatterbait fish are easy to lose. That one, guys. That's got to be a 20 incher on the chatterbait. He actually got it really good. Holy crap. Swallowed that chatterbait. That's going to help for KBF. Four point six five. She's a little spawned out, but almost four and three quarter, so not too far from five pounds. And she was twenty point seven five inches. That's my second fish of the month over twenty inches, guys. Beautiful fish. I just got the release of this beautiful bass. goes down to the depths that one was caught on a green pumpkin chatterbait let's hope we can get a few more no way it's a good one too go first fish of the day and it actually came pretty quick and I'm a little surprised because we got a major cold front here across the Northeast United States temperatures today are only going to be in the upper 50s here on May 2nd or 3rd I want to say it is and that one hit the chartreuse chatterbait the water in this lake really dirtied up we just had four and a half to six inches of rain guys 
and it has just dirtied this water up in most of the lakes in this area and you can see got a nice I don't know 15 inch or so water temps were in the low 70s about a week and a half ago and they've fallen into the upper 50s so I'm a little shocked that I got a fish but it is May and those fish are up shallow so let's keep going hopefully gonna get a big one today but on that white and chartreuse chatterbait in and around this flooded brush fishing out of nowhere Very windy day today. About the same size as that first one I caught. Got both hooks on the spinner bait there. There we go. Nice little keeper. Don't you just love fishing in the wind? Freaking May 2nd, it could be 55 to 60 degrees today for a high. After we had a really warm April. There we go, there's another fish. All right, there's number three. I don't know if this one's a keeper. I think he is. I'm going to measure him just to check, but crushing the spinner bait. No big ones. Uh -oh, I don't think it's going to go 12. Ooh. He's just shy of 12. Just shy of 12. Just a little guy. Man, I wish I was frogging right now, but this weather isn't really supportive of a frog bite. So I'm kind of just making what I can do with the spinner bait and the chatter bait I was throwing earlier. Water's real muddy from the five inches of rain we had. It's not really the conditions you want to throw a frog. I still might try to throw it a little bit today, see if I can get a bite, because the water temps are still in the upper 50s. So, maybe I'll throw it for a little bit. Sam? They already spawned. But doesn't mean they won't be shallow. They still go up shallow. Oh, here we go. There we go. Not damn fine. Oh, what was that there? Was that a turtle? Yeah, probably. Not sure. I saw him wake off the bank for it. Hopping frog. Gone. There you go, guys. First one of the day. A little guy, but it took long. He's gone. Start watching my rods here. gonna lose him. He's running at me. That's a nice one. He swallowed the frog, dude. That's gonna go for the monthly. Wow. That fish was so shallow, dude. You convinced me to pull out my frog. Froggy? Yeah. That's a good one, 17 inch or so. We're going to get a length on him here in a minute. 18 and a quarter, guys. First nice one of the year on a frog.
big one. Oh my god. Freaking ate the frog, dude. Holy crap. Six pounder. Yes! Holy crap, dude. He destroyed the frog. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Holy crap, dude. As soon as it hit the water, I had no time. You gotta see how fat this fish is. Not long, man. There we go, guys. Whoa. That's a big one. You, you got fun, but it's not my fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably five pounds. I got a scale. Yeah, I got one too. I'm gonna pop them on right now. Yeah, it's a good one. Video, right? Yep. Three. All right, let me get it on GoPro real quick. All right, guys. 20 and a half inch bass. We're getting her back now. Ready? Look at that fish. She's good to go, dude. Bam. Taylor. Some more. I'm fishing that tree right there now. Another 18. Man, I should have put the hat cam on today. All right, guys, there's bass number four on the frog. The bite is really spotty today. It's not really, we're getting a lot of time in between our bites, so I'm not throwing the hat cam on for that reason. So I'm just gonna run the rear GoPro today, but. Catching a few, we're making it happen. All right, guys, 17 and a half. Good frog fish. Been caught before, too. 